What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new video. I hope all of you are having the most blessed day possible. Uh, if you are, make sure you leave a comment down below with a big W. Boom. But uh, today we're gonna be reviewing a beat that I made uh, a couple weeks ago. It's more of like a Juice World uh, kind of guitar vibe. So I've never <clears throat> done a video like this before. So uh, I hope you guys uh, find it informative and uh, enjoy the content. So if you do, make sure you hit the sub button. If you are brand new here, make sure you leave a like and uh, leave a comment as well and let us know what you wanna see next. Everything that I use in this video is actually uh, from my kits that I've released. There's an Omnisphere kit, uh, an Electra X kit, and then a drum kit. The two banks also have uh, one shots. I'll explain when we get into the video, but just thought I'd let you guys know, and these are all available down below on our website. So if you like what you set, uh, if you like what you hear here, if you like what you hear here, if you like what you hear in the video, uh, definitely go. <coughs> So if you like what you hear in this video, definitely go check out our website. Uh, like I said, all three of these kits will be in there. So uh, without further ado, let's get into this video. Make sure you hit a like, make sure you hit the sub, make sure you leave a comment and let's go. So now that we're in FL studio, uh, let's hop right into the beat. So like I said, this is more of like a Juice World kind of guitar style beat. I don't really do these often, but uh, like I said, I've been making this Omnisphere bank and I made a crazy guitar bank. And uh, as I was making the bank, I was actually using this MIDI um, from Chris. If you haven't checked out Chris, definitely go check him out. He is the goat. But yeah, I was uh, making this bank with this MIDI and uh, I finished up the bank and I heard like the entire melody and I was like, holy cow, this is this is insane. I gotta make a beat out of this. So that's what I did. Uh, let's go over uh, how this sounds. So the first one here is uh, from the Omnisphere Bank, like I mentioned, called uh, Guitar Use This Too. And like I said, this, this bank is nuts. Like it, it really is uh, super, super clean. So I'll go ahead and play it for you guys so you can hear what it sounds like. So yeah, as you can tell, sounds insane. Uh, again, shout out Chris for the MIDI. Uh, this MIDI just went so well with this bank. So next up we have uh, another Omnisphere bank. And again, this is from my kit. This one is called uh, Update and this is a bell. I kinda use the FX on this and I'll show you the uh, FX after we run through all the melodies. But for the FX on this, um, I really just kind of cut out a lot of uh, the high end and the low end and just kinda kept the mid kind of frequencies on this just because I wanted all the other things besides the guitar to kind of sit in the back of it and just kind of add more of an ambience and uh, just like layer behind the guitar more than anything. I wanted the guitar to really stand out on this one so all I did was copy the original MIDI and then I just took out some of the high notes on uh, this this part right here so I'll play this for you now. So yeah, super, super clean. Like I said, just kind of very uh, quiet and just in the back. But when you hear it, it goes really, really well with the guitar. So like I said, these two uh, Omnisphere banks are gonna be for my Halo kit that is out right now. And if you would like to use these, definitely uh, go to the link down below and use Halo 20 and you can get 20% off this kit. There's a one shot version, a Omnisphere bank version, and then there's a bundle version that has both of them in there. So definitely go check that out. But yeah, we'll move on to the next sound here. So next we have an Electra X preset here. And for this one, I just took the original chord progression and I just took out all the high notes for it and just left uh, basically uh, the chords plus a couple extra notes. And uh, this is from my other kit. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being a 
a, a fucking plug right now. This is from my other kit. Uh, this is from the Atomic kit, and uh, this is called the Arp Floor. Again, if you would like uh, this kit, there's, just like I said before, there's a one-shot, an Electra X version, and there's a bundle version that has both of them in there. Atomic 20 to get 20% off of that as well, too. Yeah, super clean. Again, like just really pushed into the back of the beat just to kind of add some more ambience uh, behind the guitar. And then this last one is also from my bank. And uh, this one is called What's Wrong. And this is a bell. Just kind of followed the chords, drew in the pattern, and then added some effects on it. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for the melodies. So I'll play them all together for you right now so you can kind of hear what they sound like. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much the entire melody. Now we'll move on to the drums. And I'm sorry, this is gonna be the last time I plug in this video, I swear. All the drums that I'm using are from my uh, Tesla drum kit. So everything that you hear in this uh, drum pattern will be from this kit. So definitely, definitely check that out. Uh, so yeah, we'll start out with the uh, 808 here. So this is the number one 808. And all I do for um, all of my 808s that I uh, use and uh, all my 808 patterns. Literally, I just take the root notes of the core melody. So these these guys here, copy and then paste them down into the 808. And then all I did was just uh, chop it up to give it some rhythm and some bounce. And uh, this is what you get. So yeah, that's uh, the 808 pattern, very basic, and uh, it just repeats after this first half. Uh, next we have the kick, and the kick is the exact same as the actual um, 808 pattern, it's just all on the C note. And this kick is the lemon kick, again this is from uh, my kit. And then we have, we have the hi-hats here, and this is just a basic two-step pattern, and this is called the cat hi-hat. And then we have this open hat. And then we have this effects here, and I'm sure all of you guys have heard this. One of my favorites, actually. I'm not really sure why, but it's just one of my favorites. And uh, then we have this RAR, and that just repeats every uh, eight bars. And then we have, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, there's a few drums from uh, 3.6's Dark Matter kit, Super Fire kit as well, too. If you haven't checked this out, definitely go check that out. This is called the Tin Can Snare. And again, that just repeats. And then we have this other snare, and this is called the Gunna Snare. And then we have this uh, Money Clap, and this is from my kit. And all I did for this is just a basic clap pattern with an extra, extra clap right here, just to add a little bit of extra bounce. So yeah, that's pretty much the entire melody, or the entire beat, sorry. Uh, before I go into playing it for you guys, I'll just show you what I did for effects. So for the first chord progression, the original chord progression, the guitar, all I did was a low end EQ, and then I think I just did another low end EQ, uh, just to really cut off the low end so that the 808 could cut through. For the second one, kind of like this bell pad sounding thing, just to make it sound a little more in the back a bit. Like I said, I cut out the low ends and then I cut out the high ends as well too and just kept the mid frequency so that it would kind of stay tucked into the back of the beat. And then I also just cut out the low ends a little more on this one. And then we got the Electra X. Again, just cut out the low end and then the high end again to just kind of tuck it in the back a little more. And then for this counter melody here, 
So as you can tell, there's obviously effects on that. So what I did was I uh, cut out the low end again, kind of shelved the high end a little bit and just cut it out just a tiny bit. Added a fruity delay. Uh, like I say in all my tutorials, I use the basic delay preset, like the one that loads up. Usually I would use the cutoff a little more, but I didn't. I pulled back the level a little bit, I believe. And uh, the wet, I pulled back as well too. And then the master effects knob, I just put it just under halfway probably like 45 percent and then uh, we have a shaper box here not sure where this actual preset comes from in here but it's called in it basically it's just a stutter along with a panning effect and that's how you kind of get that well the panning and then the stuttering in that uh, one part of the beat and then for all the drums there's no effects on them just uh, leveling and that's it and then for my master I use my uh, master preset which is also in the Tesla drum kit it's called the Chrome Master all it is is a multiband compression EQ EQ uh, soft clipper along with a fruity limiter and that's it so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you leave a like make sure you leave a comment and uh make sure you uh sub if you're new here as well too i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you learned something and um yeah i just appreciate you guys always being here we're about to hit 20k on youtube which is absolutely bonkers so thank you thank you thank you guys so much i really can't say it enough you guys are the reason we are where we are right now so thank you and uh make sure you go follow us on twitch as well too we're gonna start streaming on there um exclusively uh soon so if you haven't followed us on there make sure you go hit us up over there we're gonna be doing beat battles music submissions I'm gonna be streaming over there just chilling cooking up so if you want to come chill with me definitely go over there and yeah we're gonna be streaming a ton over there so make sure you go hit us up on twitch it's gonna be a super fun time you definitely don't want to miss out on that and uh, yeah thank you guys so much for joining us I hope you have a great day make some beats touch some grass and uh, enjoy the rest of your day we'll talk to you soon peace